Hey guys, welcome back to Camburger and Friends, soon becoming the MSM boy. And I, today, Camburger, soon becoming the MSM boy, also a certified dental digest fan, and will be teaching you how to make ru stuff with rubber bands today. So I really hope you enjoy the tutorial, but first let's go ahead and discuss some achievements. Okay, so let's, so I have my Atari, been having it for a while now, and then, okay, the three by three, you're gonna love this, so, one side, yep, got a layer, oh gee, and that's my tablet right there, as you can see. So I got this on mic. Not mic, sorry. Camera, so let's go ahead and take a look at... <laughs> hey, yo, we can zoom things in now. By the way, if you can't see, this is my Disney Cube. Okay, so now, oh, I really hope you enjoy this video, but, okay, so, we're gonna take this, you can't see, so we're gonna take this here, by the way, how to like my new glove, won't be teaching you how to make this yet, but you know. Anyways, I hope this phone really stands up. Well, then I just noticed. <laughs> I think the cam's gonna be sideways. Yeah, cam is definitely sideways. Actually, I don't think it counts. But yeah. Anyway, so let's scramble, so oh, yeah. by the way I'm keeping. So here's the thing. So I'm gonna scramble this layer here. And then finished. So yeah, that's just one of the uh, Cuber's magic tricks. And today, I'll be teaching you how to make one of these. <laughs> but yeah. So you can only do this we have these types of rubber bands, and you need some sort of clip. Whether it's a C clip or an S clip. So this is so this is the tutorial tutorial for people who have C clips, not S clips, because I don't have S clips. So let's get started. So first, get your kit or bands, either way. Also, I might teach you how to make one of these. This is my customized kit, and if you're lucky, you how to make one of these. It actually takes hours to make. So yeah. So. Here's how to do this. Oh. 
So yeah, I'll be teaching you how to make one of these today. Look. So yeah, let's do this. So grab the two color rubber bands choice. Actually, I got a fun idea. It's gonna be a bracelet out of bracelets. So do the first one like this, and then do the second one like this. So I'm making one out of bracelets for some weird reason, just because just plain old rubber bands. <gasps> oh, Andrea, that looks so awesome. Then you can just slip them off. And if you made a mistake, you can break it and try again if you need. By the way, you can make, if you can make lions and stuff, you can make one of these. It's because, it, but, anyways, so grab the two colors of choice. Put the first one between your fingers. But do this. Twist it. Now it look like this. Grab your second choice color. Now, watch very carefully. Do this. On the bottom, not the top. Now, do the same thing. Except, this, it doesn't have to be the same colors. Twist it. So, like, and remember if you have S clips instead of C clips, please don't do this because this is for S clip, not C clips, not S clips. So, yeah, I have the green. And make sure it's the rain. If you have your C clips, excuse me. It is the Rainbow Loom brand name because Rainbow Loom brand name C clips are different than original C clips. But another option is to just stick with your two colors. Or you can make your pattern, or you don't have to do either of them. You know? It's all your choice. So, yeah. You'll see a tail coming out. What you're doing. This means you're doing it. Once it's long enough, Go ahead and stop. Now grab your Lean Balloon brand C clip. Now watch carefully to do this and hold the C clip. Just put the, your thumb there. So until. So just do whatever to get the band. And then push on it. I mean, pull on it. Not push, pull. Now, do the same thing for the side of the band.
By the way, this video is actually taking much longer to make. A little bit longer. Yeah, not much, but a little bit longer to make than the time of the video actually is. So just do this. Make your two fingers spread as much as you can. Push C clip. Then do whatever you can. Second thing, no. second part. So span on, and ta-da! You made yourself one of these. Learn fish tails. A fish tail is the same bracelet instead of one. Rubber band, you use two. So instead of one, using one one rubber band at a time, you use two rubber bands at, at a time. Pretend that both of those rubber bands are just one rubber band. Then attach your C clip. And ta da! You made a fishtail. Now it's time to teach you how to make a ring. Well, actually, you do the same exact thing as making a bracelet, but, however, you just make it smaller, so that way it can't fit on your wrist or arm, but it can fit on your finger. Don't make it too loose or too tight, though. Whew, this glove is really annoying me. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just gonna need my kit here. So now it's time that you've seen my Florida souvenirs. Go! Hmm, that's cool. But don't worry, there's more. I got this medieval time sword. Well, because I got knighted by the queen. My dad got knighted by the king. Not the real queen and king. Just part of the fun of the restaurant. Yeah. This Disney cube was from Disney World. I got this. And another stretchy slash gooey man. That crab joint. But instead of crab, I got chicken. Because I'm not really a seafood man. I mean, Don's fried catfish. Yum, yum. But, you know, it's loud. Anyway. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, but, by the way, Paramix Diamond, the tour you'll coming soon, I'm just kidding, go around eight months ago, I recorded myself solving the Paramix Diamond. And it's around time I've got a tutorial. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my. This counts for all scrambles. Yep, it's here. So, here's how to do this. So, let's pretend you get the Never Pyramid Diamond. And you have absolutely no idea what to do with it. So you scramble it. And you can't solve it. So let's do a scramble real quick. Please don't make your scramble too easy. Because this, I mean, this still counts for scrambles. If it scrambles, you need to just make it a little bit harder. 
to where it looks impossible. For example, so this works so this method works for all scrambles. So don't be a little worried. So here's my scramble. Your scramble will be different than this. So yeah, let's go. So first you line all the corners with each other. If you're lucky, you'll get one side. Which, yes, you'll get one side. Or if you're lucky, maybe two. Meanwhile, you just hold these center pieces. Then you move the puzzle center piece goes along with it. So let's do this. So, just do this. Ta-da! From that, do the same exact thing. And then you'll figure things out from there. If you think it out enough, you'll actually solve it. My first solve was actually on a oh, five or so mile walk. I watch Lego Masters a lot. And you know. I watch Lego Masters with my mom most of the time. So eventually, we'll get the uh, four sides scrambled and four sides solved. Once that happens, try making thing, but instead, do one layer solve like this and then scramble like this. So now, all I have to do is put a little sinking into it. Studs on the side. Then it keeps like this. It's not solved yet. So go ahead and do this. Until the yellow center piece is in the correct position. And then there you go. That's a brief, and that's a brief tutorial of how to solve the pyramid diamond, which is actually my main. So I'm putting it up right now. Ooh. <laughs> See ya.
but see you later. Her knights and rubber banders and Huberts and dental digest hands, aka fat globbers. See you soon. Mm. See you soon. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Bye.